I need to do my throttle body today. Obviously this is used, a new one's like $250. So it's four bolts, one, one down here, and then there's another one down here, and then there's another one on the other side down here. So I gotta undo this sensor, this line, this box, these coolant lines. We'll see how it goes. I don't have a gasket, so that's bad. I don't care though. So this car's not made out of gold. Uh, it's really old. It's actually leaking coolant right now from this lower hose. I'm going to try to tighten up that clamp and see what's up. Other than that, uh, I'll get some tools and I'll get started. Okay, so my issue is this. Every time I drive, uh, the transmission feels a little late um, in the way that when I touch the throttle, it takes a second for the transmission to do what it wants to do. So I've replaced the transmission already because I did a drain and refill a while ago and the fluid looked a little suspicious. Following that, I had my mechanic do like a software update on the on the transmission control module, the computer that controls everything, and it's still acting up. So my next thought is that the throttle body, something is wrong electronically with the throttle body. It's not communicating properly with the transmission. So I'm going to replace that. And if that doesn't work, then there's actually an updated transmission control module for the car. What's leading me to believe that it's a throttle body is that I've noticed if I'm really light on the pedal, uh, I've noticed that it kind of does what it needs to do. So I'm thinking that something isn't catching up. Like the throttle response is late or something. Yeah, I'm going to replace this and I'm going to hope that it's going to help. Might have a vacuum leak now because I, I don't know how, how the gasket's going to be when I do this. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll just take this guy down to the store and maybe get a gasket for it. Other than that, I'm just kind of doing some trial and error here. So we'll see. Let's see. I've got this bolt, this bolt blow-by sensor, I think. This vacuum line, this whole thing, the hose clamp. Trying my best to show you there's not a lot of room so obviously this is my throttle body i gotta unplug a couple of connectors there's one to the right i already unplugged the one to the top left and then i got to clamp off the top left radiator line and the bottom right radiator line and it should come off it's probably a couple of 10 millimeters so let me see that yep just like most things let me do that and uh we'll see where we are So this is the new one. This is the old one. It would be nice if these were interchangeable. I think this is your throttle position sensor, but it's actually built into the throttle body. I would have just swapped that over, but this one doesn't have one. Maybe it has something to do with it being electronic. I'll put this on and uh, that'll be that. That should be good. Now I just gotta kind of put all this stuff back together. Now, again, when doing this, I highly recommend you use a new gasket. New gasket on the throttle body. Highly recommend it. 
shouldn't say highly recommend it. It's, it's what you need to do. So I guess a good indication that you're done is that all the hardware that you had is now put back where it goes. So I think I'm done. Pretty sure everything's plugged in. Let's just start it and see what it does. Okay, now I have to find my keys. Oh yeah, I also don't have a coolant gauge. Um, obviously this is not the original cluster. Uh, however, the car does run right. I use my OBD reader and plug it in and it gives me a coolant temperature. That's how I know uh, it's, it's safe. It operates at a, at a good temperature. I'm just taking it around the block. What should really help me decide is this hill right here. So, Seems okay, I guess. Well, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, although, again, I know it's not an interesting video. I don't have much to put out because I've got a car to fix and it's gonna cost me a lot of money. So I'm not trying to spend money that I don't need to spend. Um, just doing what I can do here. So thanks for watching. And uh, I guess I'll have another video out some other time. So. See you later.